Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Tinker77. Today we're going to do a full craft tutorial on auto crafting. I recently worked on this in my full craft world, so I thought it'd be good to kind of put it together into a tutorial. So you're going to need some infrastructure here. And then what we're going to talk about is how to work on the crafting, which is the regular 3x3 creative crafting. And then the other type of crafting, which is using the solderer. So let's get started. This tutorial assumes that you're going to have some of the infrastructure already set up at your base. Namely, you're going to need to have power. I'm going to be using a 25 million RF capacitor for this demonstration. You're going to need to have a controller. You're also going to need to have some sort of storage system. I'm going to use a disk drive. And in that disk drive, I'm going to put in a 64K disk. Okay, so you got to have that power, a controller, and some storage in your base. There are two types of crafting that we're going to talk about in this tutorial. And the first type is when we use the crafter, which is the typical 3x3 three three crafting that you normally would use. So let me show you how to work with this. Off of your grid, put a cable down so you have some cable going out here. Now what you're going to want is a pattern grid and a crafting grid. The crafting grid is a normal grid where you can craft items. It also does the work of the crafting in just a minute, you'll see. The pattern grid is where you take a pattern for something or something that you're going to make and craft and encode that onto a pattern. So if I go into the pattern grid first here, you can see I put into my storage already two full stacks worth of cobblestone. And I want to make compressed cobblestone. So here's a compressed, it takes nine blocks to make. So I'll click on that and I'll hit the plus button, which puts it into here. Now I click on or dictionary, or dictionary basically means it'll try to find anything that's, that's the same type of uh, stone or brick or whatever to use if it can. Like for instance, glass. Glass, there's normal glass, there's clear glass, there's compressed clear glass, there's a whole bunch of different things. It'll take what it can find to make this particular uh, template work. So now we're gonna take a pattern, we're gonna put it right here and we're going to encode it. If you notice right now, it's just this pattern. When I do this, now it says pattern, and then it says one compressed cobblestone. It's kind of like a blueprint to what we want to do. Okay? So now we have 128 in here, and we want to make some, some uh, compressed cobblestone. I'm going to clear the weather. Always happens during tutorials, don't it? Okay, so now what we want to do here is we want to make this thing work for us. Okay? So on the other side of the crafting grid, I'm going to put a cable. On top of that, I'm going to put a crafter. Now the crafter, uh, you want this little blue dot to be facing down. You can also tell by the side where this blue line is to be facing down. So I'm going to right click on it till it faces down. Very good. And then on top of that, you're going to want to put a detector. Okay. So now go into the, the, uh, uh, the crafter here. And what you want to set this up to is only work with redstone signal. Now this signal is being going to be generated by the detector. And then here trigger auto crafting with the resistance signal. We're going to say yes. Okay. Now go up to the detector. And I'm going to say that uh, if we have, let's say greater than 64, and I don't have a cobblestone on me. So let me go get go get one cobblestone. Okay. Yet you have an example of what you want. So if we have more than 64 cobblestone, it'll send a redstone signal to the crafter. And the crafter's recipe is make compressed cobblestone. So if you look, it's taking out pieces automatically and crafting this up. And it stopped because we were right at 64. Now say I got over 64, I brought it up to 65. It says, oh, I'm above 64, I make another one. So that works really quickly to make uh, crafting anything you want. You just put in your pattern over here in the pattern grid and use it in one of these crafters. And you can chain these together all you want. So now let's go on to the other crafting thing, the solderer. When we use a solderer, we have to make another pattern. But you do this not with a pattern grid, but you do this with a, something called the processing pattern encoder. It does not have to be in line or attached to the grid at all to work, okay? So I can access it and it does all the work here. Now for now, I'm gonna put it just on top of here just so it's, it's close, but you don't have to have it there. I just wanted to make sure you're aware. So now we're gonna make a pattern here. Now if you remember, the advanced processor Basically, it takes a, one of those, which is the printed advanced processor. It takes some redstone, and it takes a printed silicon. And when it yields is the actual advanced processor. I'm going to use the OR dictionary again, and we'll use whatever materials it can find that match. And now we're going to take the pattern, and we're going to encode it. So now this says we'll take one of those things, one, one, and one, and it will make a one advanced processor. So that's our pattern. Now we can get ready to hook up the solderer. 
The solderer is very similar to the same crafting thing. You have a solderer, you have a crafter on top. Remember, you gotta face it downward. Okay, and then you have a detector on top. Now on the bottom, you have to hook it up differently. And you just use an importer. And you can see it's hooked up into the line and you have power and everything looks like it's ready to go. Okay, so now let's go into here. We're gonna set this up like we always do. Works with redstone signal. Trigger auto crafting is yes. Now let's say I want to have uh, eight. If I have less than eight of our advanced processors, then the pattern I want to do is that, is make it. Okay, now if we're going to go look here real quick, you can see it's crafting. If you look inside the solderer, you can see it's working to make it. So it's going to keep on going until it makes up the eight of the advanced processor. So this should show up here in a second. And here we go. And there it is. And you saw that these depleted by one, which means it's now making the next one. Same thing, detector and crafter, detector and crafter. The difference is this the solder is doing the work here, whereas it, the crafting grid is just doing the work for that here. Okay, and then the importer just takes it out. The crafting grid is already part of the grid, so it doesn't need an importer. Now, remember to make the patterns. For the crafting grid patterns, you need to use the pattern grid to make those. For the solderer, you need to use the processing pattern encoder. Well, that's all there is to it. I know this can be a little bit confusing, so if you have any questions, you can always reach out to me and put a comment in the video, and I'll see you about trying to answer those questions, okay? So I hope you like this tutorial. Again, if you do like this video, please click that like button. If you have any comments, put them in the comments section. And if you'd like to be notified of videos I produce, please subscribe to this channel. Again, I am Tinker77. Thanks for joining me. Have a great day. Bye-bye.